Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be learning about the history of our planet Earth including how the face of Earth changed in terms of the plate tectonics and motions of different continents and we're also going to mention important eras as well as some really cool animals that lived in those eras or some special events that occurred in specific um, time periods of our planet Earth. So welcome to What The Math and let's learn some new stuff. Now this is actually based on a really cool website that I'm posting in the description below known as dinosaurpictures.org. And this website was shared uh, with me on Facebook by Jacob Sternberg who actually sent me the link for this. But anyway, so we're going to start with the period 600 million years ago. This is when the Earth was about uh, 3.9 billion years old. And essentially, this is what it looked like. It was a very large continent and a very large ocean. And this period was known as Ediacaran period, when essentially multicellular life started to evolve in the ocean. And you had some really cool looking creatures like, for example, these guys right here. But they didn't last for very long. About 60 million years later, when the shape of Earth changed a little bit, so it kind of started looking more like this with a few more continents visible here and a lot of them actually splitting up and creating a really cool southern hemisphere, but not as cool uh, northern hemisphere, which is basically a very large ocean. This is essentially when there was a very, very large extinction event that pretty much killed a huge amount of animals. Now, the thing is, back in the days, uh, there were quite a lot of extinction events, and many of them don't even have a name yet. Uh, but for the most part, some of the bigger ones did get names uh, related to the era when they happened. And this one was uh, known as the and Batomian extinction event, uh, which very likely killed um, quite a lot of marine animals, caused some glaciation, and basically Earth was covered in ice, depleted some of the oxygen for the marine life, and essentially changed the uh, face of uh, life on Earth. Now, this didn't last for very long, and then a new life evolved, and uh, basically this is when a lot of animals started to evolve shelves and exoskeletons, and basically uh, this led to what's known as um, Cambrian Explosion. And Cambrian Explosion was a very fascinating event when so much various, uh, really cool looking life evolved and started to live on our planet. Uh, some of it was uh, quite um, terrifying looking, so here's actually some photos of those super, super scary looking creatures, with the one in the middle being the biggest predator actually. And a lot of these fossils have actually been found in, in uh, my home country of Canada. Uh, in the West, we actually discovered quite a lot of these really cool creatures, and you can even purchase their models online. Um, but uh, nevertheless, a lot of these creatures didn't last for a very long time because there was another uh, extinction event coming up. And about 70 million years later, the face of Earth changed again. So now we have distinct, distinct continents, some islands, some uh, shallow grounds here. And this is essentially when the first reefs started to appear on our planet as well. Uh, the um, algae was basically the only multicellular plant in the ocean right now. And even though there were still no complex animals on the land, some animals started to kind of slowly evolve to live closer and closer to the land. Um, and we, we, we saw the appearance of first uh, fish and also first vertebrates as well. And this is uh, known as the Ordovician period. And about 40 million years after, the Earth changed again, and yet another extinction event occurs. And this is actually how we usually define periods when something major happens. So this extinction event killed all of those cool looking animals. Now uh, new animals started to evolve and of course new plants as well. And here most of the plants uh, start to slowly emerge on land and basically most of the edge and most of the beaches here, most of the ocean edges started to be populated with various types of multicellular plants that could now actually transport nutrients and water much easier. And a lot of ocean life becomes super complex and some creatures actually start slowly venturing onto land as well. And so this is kind of what the face of Earth looked like 430 million years ago. Next, we have Silurian period, and this is how the planet has changed in uh, 30 million years. And this, so this is about 400 million years ago. And essentially here, uh, life on the land becomes more complex. Um, various plants start to develop and basically occupy the continents and of course the islands. Uh, we also see the appearance of different insects and also fish becomes more complex, developing things like fins, complex teeth, and uh, eventually actually start developing something that will, will um, become limbs, hands, and 
legs, of course. We also see the appearance of first uh, vertebrates that start walking on land, and we also see uh, various uh, fish like sharks and sea scorpions and cephalophodes, which are um, basically octopuses and squids, uh, appearing in the oceans as well, meaning that this is actually the first time we saw them appear on our planet. So this was 400 million years ago, which gives you an idea of how old these creatures actually are. And about 100 million years later, so this is 300 million years ago, uh, this is what we see. First of all, Antarctica gets its ice shelf. Um, also, the continents change quite dramatically. We now have a lot more continents in the northern hemisphere. And um, so this is when a lot of the life actually starts to migrate to land. You can kind of see how the land changed from being almost completely barren to now somewhat green. And that's because a lot of uh, plants start producing um, oxygen in in, uh, in our atmosphere and this oxygen is now used for the oxygen carbon dioxide cycle which also means that various animals start migrating to land including things like reptiles and uh, giant insects become very 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 common and so right now earth still looks kind of unfamiliar but you, we are getting more and more uh, variety in terms of landscape and of course now it looks a little bit more green and something like 250 million years ago, which unfortunately we don't have in this particular simulation, the biggest extinction event takes place. Uh, this was known as the Permian-Triassic extinction event, which killed quite a lot of stuff. It basically killed a variety of creatures that existed everywhere, including the oceans. And so we think this may have occurred because of some kind of a really powerful cataclysmic cosmic event. Like for example, a supernova going off near, um, near the planet Earth, or possibly uh, some sort of a very powerful source of gamma ray radiation or cosmic rays that essentially hit our planet Earth and killed off a variety of creatures. But we obviously don't really know exactly what happened. So um, at this point, 220 million years ago, the Earth is recovering from this uh, event and the first uh, dinosaurs start to appear. This is known as the Triassic period, when the first dinosaurs appear and start walking the land. And basically they will be dominating this uh, particular planet for the next um, almost 200 million years actually. And except for dinosaurs, we also get our first flying invertebrates. So these were uh, creatures that were still kind of based on um, reptile and dinosaur uh, shape and form, but uh, they were slowly turning into birds, although not yet birds, because we know that birds essentially evolved from dinosaurs. All right, so some time has passed, and this is 120 million years ago. So this is about 100 million years later. This is what a land looks like before. This is what it looks like. Uh, now this is early Cretaceous period and the world is basically now super super warm there's no polar caps anywhere it's very likely that this is entirely just one big tropical world and uh, there's a lot of really large dinosaurs that dominate the planet a lot of not just di dinosaurs but also reptiles and uh, the only mammals we have are very very tiny so these are m mammals that will eventually evolve into everything including us but they're still very small and they don't really have much in terms of numbers or domination on this planet and also various plants start evolving uh really cool features like for example they now get flowers for the first time in history and so all of this kind of spreads throughout the world and you can kind of already see some of the shapes that might be familiar to you so like this kind of already looks like south america and this kind of looks like africa this is antarctica that hasn't changed much um and this is um asia and so this is both the Cretaceous period and uh, to some extent the Jurassic period as well. Uh, now we're going to go into the last period uh, before modern era where you get to see Earth almost exactly as it was, uh, or I guess as it is today. Um, so this is the uh, mid tertiary uh, period. And this is when mammals have taken over the world because the dinosaurs have gone extinct. We don't really know exactly what happened, but we, uh, we suspect that a very large asteroid hit uh, this area right here, right here, uh, near Mexico, and very likely caused some kind of extinction event. Although this is still kind of highly debated, but that's the most prevalent theory. And 35 million years ago, this is when we see the emergence of things like primates, cetaceans, which are dolphins and, and whales and a lot of other animals that are very common today. And the earth becomes a little bit cooler and evolves a lot of various uh, plants that we, we can see today, including things like 
trees that uh, are now seasonal so in other words they lose leaves um, in the fall and the winter and regain leaves later on because before that plants evolved not to do that it was really hot and there was no need for that and so all of those plants actually uh, either changed evolved or have gone extinct and also we get uh, grass and grass is actually one of the most successful plants on our planet earth all right and so now we come to the point where uh we 20 million years ago get the first hominids first human-like species mammals that basically look very human-like and this is what the planet looked like back then 20 million years ago and uh the first hominids appeared uh, very likely here in the horn of africa and that's about it so let's just go through this one more time but this time back in time so we're going to start with 20 million years ago 35 million years ago 120 million years ago 220 million years ago and this is actually the so-called pangea supercontinent then 300 million years 400 million years you can see that all of the plants are gone because they haven't evolved yet 430 470 million years ago 540 million years ago and 600 million years ago this is the so-called uh, panotia supercontinent so there were two times in history of our planet when we had two supercontinents when all of the continents were actually joined into one and well that's really all i wanted to show you in this video i wanted to go through the history of our planet show you some of the cool animals that existed and kind of give you a brief history tour of earth Hopefully you learned something from, from this video and hopefully you'll subscribe if you still haven't. Share this with someone who likes to learn stuff using various simulations and video games. And maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon because it does help me make, make better videos. Also, don't forget the Facebook group is where you can make a suggestion or even just talk to me about stuff. Or you know what, if you need help with stuff like sciences or math, why not send me a message? I kind of helped a few people already. This could be you next. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you tomorrow, come back tomorrow because you're going to learn something else, something awesome, something absolutely mind-blowing, or possibly not. We'll see. Come back tomorrow, you'll learn. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.